Hey friends, I'm Luke, and today we're going to be looking at Outfoxed, published by GameRight. In Outfoxed, a wily fox has stolen a delicious pot pie, mmm, and is hightailing it to their foxhole. Work together as a team of detectives to gather clues and eliminate possible suspects to figure out who the guilty fox is before they escape. This clever, cooperative game teaches your child the deduction process in a non-competitive environment, estimating probability, paying attention to details, improving their memory, and learning how collaboration helps toward problem solving. Also, this game is what I consider to be the perfect length of gameplay to hold their attention spans. And it gets really exciting when the fox nears their hidey hole, if you haven't yet figured out who the guilty culprit is by then. My four-year-old enjoys this game, as well as my seven-year-old. I imagine a three-year-old could play with some help, and it's fun for the parents as well. Now, before diving into how to play, let's talk about some developmental considerations that may influence whether this is a great game for you and your kids. The entire game is symbol-based, except for the names of the fox suspects, which isn't necessary to read until the end of the game. Everything else is visually based. Memory is a big part of the game, but the good news is that your kids will likely have a better memory than you. To set up, place the board in the center of the table. Take a detective hat and place it in the center, one per player. Place the fox at the starting location on the sidewalk. Shuffle and scatter the 16 suspect cards around the board and choose two to turn face up. Then shuffle the 16 thief cards and select one without revealing who it is and insert it into the clue decoder. The rest of the thief cards can be placed back in the box. Place the clue markers face down nearby or we sometimes place them on the clue locations on the board. And finally give the three dice to the first player. On your turn, you will announce if you want to search for clues by trying to roll three paw prints or revealing suspects by rolling three eye symbols. After announcing your intent, you may roll up to three times, setting aside any that match after each roll. If you get all three icons by your third roll, you can take that matching action. To search for clues, you can move the total number of paw prints shown on the dice. Younger kids may need help counting. You may move horizontally or vertically, but not diagonally. If you make it to a space that contains a clue, draw or flip over the clue to learn more about the thief. You can insert the clue into the clue decoder and slide it open and look whether the color showing through the hole is green or white. If it's green, that means you have found a clue. The thief is wearing that particular item. If it's white, that means the thief is not wearing it. Compare that information to any revealed suspects. If any are wearing an item that was revealed to be white, you can eliminate them from the investigation and place them in the box. If they are wearing the item, they could quite possibly be the thief. The other option when rolling is to go for suspects. If you roll three eye symbols, that player may reveal two more suspects, and then you all can try to remember whether or not the newly revealed suspects are wearing any items marked as green or white. Now, what happens if you don't get all three symbols you announced by your third roll? Well, the thief starts to get away, that's what. Move the fox pawn three spaces down the fox path, and this ends your turn. Bummer. The game ends when you have a strong suspicion who the thief is and call it out as a team, then reveal the card from the decoder. If the name matches, you win. If not, the dastardly fellow has gotten away. The game can also end if you eliminate all but one suspect and you check to see if your deduction prowess has proven correct. And finally, if the fox reaches the foxhole, they escape. Oh man. Want to modify the game to make it easier or harder for your child? GameRight suggests having the fox pawn move four spaces instead of three on a failed attempt. We've even played where the fox moves five spaces. In conclusion, my family is a big fan of Outfox. The artwork and quality of materials are fantastic, the game works well with parents and kids and moves along quickly. I found that my kids tend to roll for paw prints all the time and look for clues, so usually my job is to reveal suspects. That collaboration is fun to see happen. The clue decoder is a very clever system. I'd recommend having the parents work with it though because it can be a bit difficult to mount the clues as well as the thief at the beginning of the game. A card could get easily bent trying to insert it into the decoder. This game is clearly set in autumn, so we'd recommend baking an apple pie and having some ice cream after playing or during if you're a brave, brave soul, or maybe some hot apple cider to avoid sticky fingers altogether. 
Now be sure to check out more videos on our channel, share this one with one of your friends, and read the description right below the like button for more information about Outfoxed. Until next time, enjoy a game with your family or friends and know that I'm game if you're game. Bye now. <laughs>